One of my favorite hobbies is to collect cards. In fact, I just recently picked up this 1897 the Thomas Edison card out of Germany. Well, problem is there's not a lot of information here in the United States based off of international releases like that. So as a card collector, I have to use things like this, which is a reference guide, but there's a few problems with it. If I just go to a random page on here, uh, first thing, this whole guide is in German. I don't know how to speak German, so I really don't know what's going on in these pages. And there's a second issue. If you take a look at these prices over here, yeah, all of those are in euros. I need to have these prices in USD to make this book usable for my format. Well, there's an easy way to do that. And in fact, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how we can do this in GPT Vision in under 50 lines of code. Whether you wanna translate one page or multiple pages, and also converting the currency from euros to USD. I'll take you step by step on this Python code, and we're gonna build this together. All right, let's start coding. So first thing that we're gonna do is go over here and pip install open AI. I'm gonna run this, it's gonna probably take about 30 seconds to a minute, so I'll fast forward once it's done. All right, now we're gonna bring in a few dependencies. So from open AI import open AI, then import base 64, then import JSON, import OS, and then from urllib.parse, import url parse. Cannot type today, but that's all right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in this function. Uh, this function specifically is on the GPT vision documentation. So define encode image, we throw an image path over here with open image RB as image file, return base64.base64 .base64 encode, image file.read decode UTF-8, uh, just to show you where that is at. So here's the GPT vision documentation. So uploading base 64 encoded images. Uh, we're going to be uploading our own images rather than grabbing an image URL online. So this is the function that we have to use to specifically encode the image. So that's where I'm grabbing it from. So feel free to copy it platform.openai slash docs slash guides slash vision, or just look up GPT vision documentation. So uh, easy way just to copy and paste that over. Now I'm going to just run this over here and we should be good. Now we need to bring in our image. So I'm gonna start off with just translating one page. So I'm gonna go over here and say image local equals, and the image I'm gonna bring in here is page89.jpg. I grabbed two different pages in the book. Um, so you'll, when you bring in an image, by the way, and drag it in, you will get this warning. So anytime you rerun this, essentially from scratch, you're gonna to have to re-upload your images over here. So I uploaded two pages, page 15 and page 89, just to show you what these look like too. So this is page 15 right over here. Again, all German. This says the year 1892, I believe. Um, that's where all these uh, sets are from. But uh, you can see like how many cards are in the set and then also the price. I don't know if that's like the full set or just an individual card in the set. I do apologize. But and then I also have page 89 over here. So like some of these, um, there's just no pricing for it. These are years on it. Um, Florida, where I live. Um, regardless, that's kind of how this was built out. So over there, um, just the images that we'll be using in this video. So we're going to start off with uh, specifically page 89 and move forward with that. So run that. I'm going to also just click this X over here so we have a little bit more space. Uh, so now we have our image local in over here. So now we need to build out our image URL. So just go over here to image URL equals F string and then grab data image jpeg base base 64 and then in over here we'll say encode image and then image local this is code that i've also grabbed before this works pretty well so now we have that all right next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my open ai api key so I probably should import this a little bit earlier, but import OS and then I'll say os.environ and then throw your open AI API key over here. So open AI underscore API underscore key equals, and then you're going to put your API key in um, two things. Number one, 
uh, your API key should start with the SK. And then you do need to load a little bit of money into your OpenAI account to be able to run GPT Vision. So if you do get any errors, that's why I put $5 into my account and then it works perfectly fine. But you have to essentially put money in there to unlock the GPT Vision capability. I'm gonna put my key in here, I'm gonna run it, and then I'm just gonna delete it and we're gonna move forward. All right, so obviously blank key, but put your key over there specifically. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say client equals open AI like that and run this also. Awesome. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this next section over here too. So we have our response, uh, which is gonna be this over here. Uh, we're just gonna slightly modify this as well. So grab that much faster than just coding it out yourself. So response equals client dot chat complete create. We need one that line. We're using this current model message is also good. Role user good content good type text. Yep text. We're going to be changing this over here in a second. Uh, type image URL that is good image URL. We're going to have to actually change that one. So let's do that now. We'll just go over here and delete that. We'll bring this over here too. Okay, so in this image URL, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put URL, and then we're gonna put in our image URL, like that, okay? And now we need to change this text. So this is kind of like the prompt engineering side of things. You have to tweak your text to make sure that this works properly for you. I've already tested this. So this is the prompt that I personally use that works well. So I'm gonna say return the image provided, provided, translated to English and monetary value in USD. So it's gonna translate the image, right, from German to English and then convert our currency into USD, okay? And I'm gonna say format in JSON only, so that way the output is structured. So format in JSON only, like that, okay. So now we have that there, I'm just gonna run this. And actually, I'm not gonna pause this. Oh, shoot. I need to make this max token over here a bit higher. I tested this first with 800 and that worked good for this page. So uh, that's my only other change, I believe. And then we should be good. So let's rerun this. I do have an error over here. All right, so after a little bit of debugging, it was my own error. Um, it wasn't open AI's error, which I was saying down below. I actually forgot a comma right here. So make sure you add a comma and rerun this line, which has the image URL, um, or you're gonna get the same error that I had. So now that it's run, let's go down over here and we're gonna do our JSON string. So just put like JSON over here equals response dot choices. We'll put over here at zero. We'll do dot message content dot message dot content All right run that and then what i found this online this is pretty cool um so we can actually clean up some of the json so we'll say over here equals json dot replace and then in over here we're going to add this so let me just copy that um just so i don't make the same error uh, so this will clean up our json awesome and then we can print out our JSON, which actually we don't need that there, um, but we'll do one more line, print JSON. And now you can see that this has been translated. So uh, the first one on page 89, Femi Cigarette Factory, Berlin, 1933, Femi images after our original movie photos, quantity 100, so how many were in the set, value in euro 150, value USD $161. Florida Cigarette Factory, um, Leipzig, if I mispronounce it, I apologize. 1928 sports images, quantities, a question mark. Um, that's common in, in cards. Uh, sometimes with the rare sets, you don't know how many cards are in there. Uh, value per item, eight, and then USD 860. So when I was asking specifically what like what the value is, uh, that's per card, which is kind of cool to see other than the set. So you can see focus over here, which says foot care. I assume this would probably be like a soccer set, uh, maybe something went wrong in the translation side of things. Uh, photo mail order publisher over here. Uh, sewing supplies, Fortin uh, Dusseldorf. Mother and child image of the German family. And then 
Heinrich Frank Sons Coffee Additive uh, Ludwig Ludwigberg, Berlin. Again, I apologize if I mispronounced it. Collection of images, quantity 60, value euro, value USD. Uh, and then it says, please note the exchange rate, the one euro, the USD is 1075 as approximate value. Actual rate can fluctuate. So you need to check the current over here for conversion, the question mark, uncertainty uh, for the quantity of Florida cigarette factory. So that's pretty cool, right? But now let's elevate this and uh, kind of make this code one step better. So I only showed you how we can do one specific image at a time. Well, what if we wanted to do multiple images? So let's just say multiple images. So let's do that instead. So I'm going to still use this same encode image over here. Um, technically, we already called that above. I'm just going to put it in here for this side of things. Then what we need to do is we're going to set up something called image paths. And inside of image paths, Essentially, what we're going to do is call for our different images. So we have two images. The first one is going to be page 15. So page 15.jpg. And then our second one is going to be page 89. So let's bring in page 89, which we've already seen. We haven't seen page uh, 15 yet. So we'll put page 89.jpg like that. Oh, and by the way, I will actually upload these images uh, to my website and or GitHub. Uh, I'm still developing my website, just full clarity on this side of things. When you're watching in this future, it might already be fully done, but I'm building it out from right now. So not complete, but I do plan on building this into an article. So you can find those images uh, either of those places. So, all right, we have our image paths over here. Uh, we still need our client equals open AI. I'm not gonna put the API key over here again because we kind of put it earlier. Um, and I know we still put this client earlier and everything like that. I'm just putting it for clarity sakes. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to just create a basic for loop and we're going to run this for loop for each of these images. So imagine like you want to do 50 pages at a time, get your 50 JPEG images of the book and upload it in over here. Um, this book wasn't available as a PDF, so it's a hard cover copy. So if you want to translate all those pages at once, you could do that. Again, this is just a basic build for a video, uh, kind of a cool way to show GPT vision. So. There's probably other ways that you could do it a bit more efficiently, but for image path over here in image paths, so image paths, all right. And what we're gonna do is say image URL. I'm pretty sure I have this as essentially the same as the one above. Let me just copy that. Throw that over here. And paste that, I'll just double check. Yeah, so that's the same over here. Awesome. Now what we're gonna do is grab our response again. So I'm gonna go over here, and grab all of this. So we'll grab our response. That response, create model message. Uh, we should be good there, image URL, tokens. And then what I'm gonna do next, on this side of things, Uh, I might just have everything over once. Just making sure this lines up with my example code. All right. Um, so now what I'm going to do, this is still on the for loop. As we're going to set up our JSON, which we had earlier. So just grab both of these. That's our JSON side of things. So JSON. Ah, crap, it's running. Stop it. And we'll paste in this. And then we're gonna print our JSON at the end. And then just print JSON. And I think this should solve it. All right, so it ran and we have all this JSON over here. Um, I wanted to make it pretty easy on this side of things and just compare them side by side. So I just went to jsonformatter.org. So our first JSON that we had over here, um, we have this note here at the very end with the correct JSON above I know there's technically an error, but that's just because you have extra text down below. And then we have the second one over here, which is 115 lines. Um, so doubled what we had the first time, which means it ran both pages. Now, how I built out this, and I could make it a little bit better, it kind of just depends on your use case, is it has its note at the very end, 
uh, based off of what it translated. And like it says, sometimes it has issues or what the currency is. And you can specify what how the output you want in your prompt. And that's a bit of the prompt engineering side of things, trying to make that specific output. But regardless, right, you can see it translates this first page over here, has the notes, and then it goes here to the second page, translate it, and also has the notes. I kind of like having those notes at the end, but again, like the tokens will increase as you translate hundreds of pages and have a note each time. Um, but it's your, your own personal preference, and that's kind of just how I built this one out. Um, I will be translating this full book in the future. Um, so I may change my approach to that, but I think right now it's just like a very basic MVP. Uh, this has been fine for me. Well, you may not be a card collector, but I do hope you got a little bit of value from this video, especially on the side of like translating uh, different languages or even converting currency, uh, even just based off of a JPEG image. Now, if you were able to learn something new, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel 100% for free, but it does allow the channel to grow. And if you want to check out even more videos, I have a full playlist on OpenAI right over here.